Thanks for joining us. We're alive at 5, and we're ready to get your thoughts on our story today. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook if you want to get in on the conversation. I'm Caitlin Ross here with Cheryl Freheim and Ayesha Howard. Tonight, Marietta Still Council is going to be looking into a report from the New York Post. It says that New York City is shipping some of its homeless population to other states to live for a year with their rent covered. It's called the Special One-Time Assistance Program, and it's been the subject of criticism before. The Post claims that some families are being placed here in Georgia. A reporter, Jay Plyburn, talked to City Councilwoman Michelle Kelly about it. We have a pretty healthy homeless population that we are trying to provide services to, and, and we certainly don't want to be overwhelmed by having to provide services to other states' homeless population. So she says city council is going to look at legal options and legislation for notifying cities about this program because she says city officials didn't know anything about it. Hmm. Well, that's very alarming to know that something's going on that impacts your state and you know nothing about it. Yeah, on the other hand, the, the city's not paying for the program. Mm -hmm. So in that way, it's just families that are moving into your city. It's interesting to offer a little context around the program, though. You get the rent paid for a year, but the Department of Homeless Services has to have reason to believe that after that year is over, these are families that could make rent then on their own, and this is just a one-time assistance. According to the New York Post, since this program started in mid-2017, a little more than 5,000 families have already used it. Yeah, and if you're wondering what those numbers actually look like locally for us here, the New York Post says about 13 families have been placed in the city of Atlanta with more around the metro. In Marietta, the report only lists one family in Cobb County, about four overall mm. in Cobb County. Now, we are waiting to hear back from the DHS to confirm those numbers for us, but it's really, you know, you think about it and you see, wow, this could be a good thing, you know, for people to get that assistance and get on their feet, but then you say, you know, wait a minute, should the cities kind of work together to do it? Well, I guess if the cities knew about it, they could provide additional assistance. The hope is in that year they can save some money, get jobs, get established, not having to, you know, kind of live moment by moment. And that could that could make a big difference long term for these families. And Atlanta, we're very lucky because our cost of living is lower than many other parts of the city. It's it's warmer here than some of these families that are, are up maybe further north in New York City. So yeah. I think all that's very interesting. We wanted to know what people who who live in these neighborhoods had to say about it. Uh, so we went and talked to a few people. Let's let's get their reactions. I think that's terrible. I think that uh, these are human beings. They shouldn't be treated like that. If wherever they live, uh, the community should be working to, to get them houses. Um, it seems a little shady and like they're trying to, um, instead of taking care of the people in their community, they're passing them off somewhere else. I posted this on my Facebook page. A lot of people weighed in, but I thought Joanna's comment was really interesting here. She does work with homeless people every single day. And she said, shame on you for everyone having an issue. They're coming here to a place where the weather is warmer. They want to start over. They come with the voucher, so they won't be taking money out of your mouth. So she's saying, give people a chance here. If this is going to represent a fresh start for them, why don't we let them have that fresh start? There's no question that there are so many people trying to figure out the solution for homeless issues, and it is something the city of Atlanta is looking at and a lot of other communities. So this is one idea, and I know they need many more. We want to know what you have to say about it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post here every week. Follow us on our social media pages so your comments can be part of our show. Have a good one.